going on YouTube my name is VisionX and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel now in today's video I'll be bringing you guys a tutorial video showing you guys how to make an epic profile picture for your YouTube channel in Photoshop so just go ahead and drop a like if you guys enjoyed the video and yeah let's get right into it so once you guys are in Photoshop first thing you guys want to do is just go ahead and click file new and then you want to go ahead and create a new document that's titled uh, have these presets 500 by 500 and you could put the resolution to whatever you want go ahead and set the background to all uh, black and then just go ahead and click OK once you guys have done that it will pop up with this right here so once you guys have this next thing you guys want to do is just go ahead and import a picture that you guys want for the background now for the sake of this video I'm gonna go, go ahead and use a picture that I have downloaded onto my computer so I'm gonna go ahead and use this but if you guys do want any pictures you could just go on the uh, Google and type in uh, whatever picture you guys want to use and just go ahead and drag it into the document that you created uh, and if it's too big all you got to do is just go ahead and click Control T and kind of resize it down so it fits perfectly into that little box right there and yeah make sure when you guys are resizing it you you hold shift so it doesn't all uh, go out of like proportion it just kind of comes down neatly and doesn't like change shape and all that just make sure you guys hold shift when you're re resizing it and you should be fine so I'm gonna go ahead and see if I could fit this nicely and neatly into this picture into this box right here and there we go there we go that looks pretty nice uh, Let's go ahead and zoom back in and see how that looks and that looks really nice that is it you know so just try and find a picture that fits nicely into the the frame or just kind of uh, resize it down until it fits nicely and that is all so once you guys have your picture imported next thing you guys want to do is make sure you're on the picture layer and then you want to go to uh, image adjustments and then you want to click on black and white so that will uh, make the picture black and white which uh, now we can add like a solid color to the background so what you guys want to do for that is uh, you want to go to uh, adjustments and then you want to uh, go on gradient map. It's right here. Just go ahead and click that and then it's going to pop up like this. What you guys want to do is just go ahead and click this over here. And then if you guys want to set your uh, profile picture to black to white or red or blue, make sure you always set the first one to black. So always have this one set to black and just click OK. And then you guys want to double click on this one over here and set it to whatever color you want your profile picture to be. So for the sake of this video, I'm just going to go ahead and pick a bluish color, really nice blue. Uh, that looks really nice so just go ahead and click ok and click ok on that and as you guys can see right there it kind of adds a nice uh, color over the image and yeah so next thing you guys want to do is what we're gonna do is add some overlays to this picture to kind of make it look even better so if you guys don't know about gfx there's just basically uh packs that people are uh, uploaded to youtube so if you guys want to go ahead and download them just go ahead and go on youtube and type in our uh, gfx pack the one that i'll be using today is a 27k pack by tempers really nice i'll go ahead and leave his channel uh name in the description below this is a really great uh pack by him he makes awesome graphics and stuff like that so if you guys want to go check out his channel you can i'll try to leave a link uh, to where uh, you can get this uh, pack to download to in the description so you guys can use it because guys if you guys are, are YouTube youtubers you would you really need a GFX pack to kind of help you out make thumbnails and stuff like that so once you guys have the pack open up the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and hide that and then you want to click on the overlays you know this one has some really nice overlays and stocks so I'm, I'm gonna use the stocks for this video for the sake of this video just go ahead and find a one that you guys like really much I'm gonna go ahead and use this one because this one looks really nice so I'm gonna go ahead and drag that onto the picture over here and just like we did with the picture just go ahead and resize it down so just go ahead and click control T and um, let's go ahead and click uh, control T and then just go ahead and make sure you guys hold shift when you're resizing it down just always hold shift because that will just keep it in shape make it not go all crazy and stuff so just always hold shift whenever you're resizing something and yeah just kind of make it fit perfectly in there once you guys have it fit perfectly just go ahead and click this check mark up here and there you guys go so what you guys could do now is you guys could change that to a uh, color dodge or overlay so I'm gonna go ahead and change this to color dodge and as you guys can see it adds a nice little effect to the picture let me go ahead and hide it and show you guys what it do it does do and you guys can see it kind of adds those effect to the picture right here it just looks really nice so what you guys can also do is change the color of the picture to match the background so I'm gonna go ahead and click control U and what that will, that will do will bring up the hue and saturation and you could kind of change this to blue right there as you guys can see kind of looks really nice 
and just go ahead and click OK until you find the perfect color that you guys want. And yeah, that's basically it for that. You guys are done. Let me go ahead. You can uh, also drag this under the gradient map. That might also look nice if you guys do that. So that's basically it for that you guys are done now what you guys can do now is kind of lower the opacity off the image to don't uh to not make it so bright so we're just gonna lower it to about 80 82 to 80 percent that that looks pretty nice so once you guys have done that next thing you guys can do is kind of add a blur to the image so i'm just gonna go ahead and make sure i'm uh, on the image layer just go ahead and click on uh filter and then just click blur and then click Gaussian blur and just give it uh, to about 1.5 that seems pretty good and what this will do is kind of uh, so when you add the text to the uh, to the profile picture it kind of stands out a little bit more and yeah it just looks really nice just go ahead and add it if you guys don't want to add it you don't have to this is optional and just go ahead and click OK. It just looks really nice to me if you add that little blur right there. It looks really nice. So once you guys have done that, you're basically kind of done. What you guys could do now to uh, kind of uh, add some little, make this even look better. You guys could go ahead and uh, add a new layer. Make sure your brush is set to white. Go ahead and click on your brush tool right here. If it's uh, too huge, you guys could do Control Alt and uh, right click and just kind of move it and it will resize it down if not you guys could just come right here and resize it down to whatever you guys want make sure the brush is on a uh, soft round or one of these soft ones just go ahead and do that and what you guys can do now make sure this is set to white and what you guys can do now is just kind of uh make some random clicks around the banner just go ahead and put some random uh uh, dots around I know it kind of looks weird right now but what you guys could do now is just go ahead and change that to overlay and that will look really nice I know you guys probably don't see any difference right now but if I go ahead and hide this you guys can see right there that it does add a little bit more uh, taste to the profile picture so yeah definitely go ahead and do that and the next thing you guys could do is just go ahead and add a new layer and then you want to uh, also change this to white make sure it's on white go make sure you're still on your brush tool you guys could uh, gotta resize it a little bit bigger for this just go ahead and make it a little bit bigger and kind of zoom out a little bit and come all the way to the top with your brush tool and just kind of um drop a little white light make sure it is on top of everything the new layer that you created make sure it's on top of the gradient map as well just kind of uh, add a little white light to the top it just kind of adds a nice little focus light to the top if it's too bright you guys could just go ahead and lower the opacity and there you guys go and just kind of give it a nice little taste to the picture and yeah now we can start adding text to this background that looks really nice if you guys ask me so what we're gonna do just go ahead and click on our text tool and for this uh for this uh video i'm going to be using a uh font called next uh narrow it's a really cool font it spells my name really nice which is visionix so i'm just gonna go ahead and go to the end and it's right here it spells my name really nice obviously you guys don't have to use the exact font if you guys want to know how to get fonts for free if you guys want to know my top five fonts just go ahead and leave a like on the video you know leave it in the comment section if you guys want me to make a video on that and yeah so the font that i'm gonna be using is narrow for this video you guys could use anything else if you guys want i'm just gonna type quickly type in my name uh, v i s i o n i x and oh spelled that wrong um v i s i o n i x just put it in and there it is as you guys can see it really spells my name really nice this is why i use this font whenever i'm um making uh banners or even uh logos for my uh with my name because it really just spelled my name a oh, great it might not spell your name it might not look good if you type your name with it but it looks really nice when they use my name it just kind of looks uh really nice and stylish so once you guys have this what you guys could do to the text is you could go ahead and go to a uh, blending option just right click on it the text that you just created go to blending options and what you guys can do is just go ahead and click on just go ahead and click on inner glow you guys could uh do that just kind of copy my uh copy my the stuff that i have here just go ahead and copy that down once you guys have that next thing you want you guys want to do is just go on gradient overlay and once you guys are here what you guys want to do to this picture is just make sure the opacity is all the way up and what you guys want to do now is just go ahead and click right here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of make it go from a uh, black to uh, a light blue so for right here we're just gonna go ahead and set that to black and then uh, click OK and then we're gonna set this part to a kind of a light blue so it kind of looks really nice 
and yeah uh just go ahead and click okay kind of uh move this uh to the middle if you want the black to like kind of come down a little bit more actually we're gonna make the black on this side so just go ahead and make this side black and then go ahead and make this side uh click okay and make this side to the blue go ahead and find that nice little blue back and just go ahead and make that blue and that will look really nice if we kind of drag this little uh thing click okay and drag this little up oh, didn't click it okay there we go kind of drag this over into the middle so the black kind of ends up in the middle looks really nice if you guys do it like this kind of just keep dragging it over until you guys uh like how it looks on the picture right here i know it kind of looks weird right now but i'm gonna go ahead and fix that so just go ahead and click ok now all we gotta do is just kind of hide the inner glow and yeah that's that is all you gotta do and as you guys can see it does look really really nice and what we're gonna do now is we're going to uh click ok on that it's kind of hard to see right now and we're gonna fix that she gets gonna look really nice so what you guys want to do is go ahead and add a new layer and you guys want to come over here to your uh rectangular tool just go ahead and grab this tool right here what you guys want to do is just draw a little box make sure it's set to white by the way and then just draw a little box around the uh the text just go ahead and make sure it's uh, it's perfect it doesn't have to be really perfect just go ahead and make it uh really neat and then just let go and what that will do it will add a white uh, box around the text and what you guys can do now is just go ahead and right click on this and then click rasterize layer and what you guys can do now is kind of drag this under the vision uh, text so just go ahead and drag that under and as you guys can see right there it looks really nice it kind of blends in with the background a little bit so yeah you guys could obviously don't have to do the same color and we could even add a few uh, uh blending options to the uh square the, the the little black square that we added just go ahead and add a gradient overlay uh right here it doesn't have to be exactly black so just go white it doesn't have to be like white white so what you guys could do double click on this right here make that white and then click ok and then kind of make these make this side a little bit gray doesn't have to be exact white and as you guys can see right there it doesn't show much difference but it's these little stuff that helps make uh, your profile picture looks better if you just keep adding these little touches to it, it just kind of helps it make it look better obviously you guys don't have to waste all this time and do all that but if you guys are trying to get it perfect and yeah you guys are trying to get it perfect just go ahead and try to touch it up a little bit and that is it guys we are basically done that is the logo that we'll be creating for today it looks pretty nice if you guys ask me really dope really like it you can uh even resize uh down this or you can merge these together like this just go go ahead and hold shift and then go ahead and do Control e and then just kind of resize it down if it's too big for you guys Kind of hold T and resize it down. Remember to hold shift whenever you're resizing. Just hold shift and kind of resize it down a little bit. And then just drag it into the center. And as you guys can see, it looks really nice. You have the background. You have the overlays and the little light on the top. Everything comes together. Just looks really nice. So if you guys enjoyed this video, just go ahead and drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Let me know what tutorial video you guys want to see from me next. Because I am going to start uploading a tutorial every uh, every week now. To kind of uh, help you guys grow your YouTube channel. You know, because I'm pretty good with Photoshop and stuff like that. So go ahead and leave in the comment section below what tutorial you guys want to see next and yeah that's basically it for this video drop a like if you guys enjoy and i will catch you guys in my next one